Usually, it's buses at Chiswick. But one Saturday last autumn, something new happened. BBC Television came to Chiswick to show viewers cars straight from the motor show going through their paces. Every famous make could be seen, from the stately to the sporting. And enthusiastic instructors had a chance to examine the latest high-performance sports engines. Television looked at many other cars in close detail. There was even one which drives up and stops without anyone at the wheel. Many famous drivers attended the show. Sterling Moss demonstrated one of Britain's fastest saloon cars, and Goldie Gardner told how he broke records in the USA. The day ended with antics on the skid patch. An unusual day for Mr. Bates, the chief instructor. And yet, with all this going on, there were still some who preferred just to play tennis. Find the doors. Right guard. Any tube train, on the average, starts and stops about 200,000 times a year. It travels 60,000 miles and carries a million and a half passengers. You can't have that much mileage and you can't carry that many passengers without wear and tear. Ordinary running maintenance will keep a train going for four years or more. Then it's time for a more thorough operation. At Acton Works, the train is taken to pieces, cleaned, tested and made as good as new. To get at the working parts, the car body has to be taken right off the bogies it normally travels on. Once the body is lifted, you can get at the driving motors and remove them from the bogey frames. Then the frames themselves can be taken off. weight of dirt has to be scraped and blown and brushed off every car before it can be examined. But many of the working parts are concealed inside and under the car body and they all have to be taken out. The door engines, the compressors and the whole mass of electrical equipment. The car body shop is devoted to stripping, checking and reassembling every working part and to electrical and mechanical fitting work of all kinds. Everything must be ready for another four years running or 200,000 miles, whichever is completed first. The whole braking system is checked at special panels and benches 
and it isn't reinstalled until they're certain it'll stop the train in 350 feet from 35 miles an hour. Quite often you can't see the tiny flaws and fractures that may develop in axles after long running. But the ultrasonic testing gear can see them. And today, the slightest effect in an axle can be detected and the axle scrapped. Wheels, of course, are bound to wear. And in the wheel shop, they're turned and retired. Axles, too, are machined to precise limits. the nimble work of winding coils and insulating armature bars for the driving motors is carried out by women. Motors that have run for four years need pretty thorough reconditioning. In the motor shop they get it and the skilled men there can remake a motor completely if they have to. people working at Acton on this job of train overhaul, with, between them, a vast assortment of skills, of hand and brain and eye. And when they've tacked and drilled, and shaped and welded, and tested and painted, they put the whole lot together again. cars a month go out from Acton Works completely reconditioned, ready for another 200,000 miles wear and tear, carrying Londoners in safety. And now to finish, a recipe. Ingredients. Two and a half tons of flour, 36 hundredweight of margarine and cooking fats, 100 gallons of milk, two tons of sugar, 135 pounds of dried egg, four to five hundredweight of dried fruit, 200 pounds of sausage meat, a large quantity of jam, and some salt. Mix thoroughly to form dough, perhaps, or pastry as required. Knead well and shape, maybe, into bread rolls. Alternatively, fill with sausage meat. Or, if preferred, decorate to taste with jam, cream filling or icing. Bake, distribute and serve in individual portions. Sufficient for 100,000 people for one week in London Transport Canteens. <laughs>